Okay, so I've got some of my images up here and I've made a new artboard which is 20 by 20 centimeters. Um, so what I'm gonna do first of all is use my selection tool just to select a, well, a section of it. It's not a great picture. Control C, hit my artboard, Control V to paste it over. Um, Control T, no, not that one. I'm just gonna go, sometimes it does this, uh, scale and make it a little bit bigger, press enter. Um, and then I wanna get rid of this sort of gray background. So I'm gonna use my selection tool on that. It's on tolerance of about 15, which you can increase or decrease to select more or less. Um, but now I'm gonna to go to select similar, that selects all the similar colors and press the, back bu the backspace button and you can see it sort of deleted most of that which I'm kind of happy with. I might tidy it up a little bit just by using the rubber tool in these areas, uh, wherever it needs it. If I could be bothered, I'll go around all of these little sections too, okay? Um, I'm then gonna make it more opaque. So Control U and take the lightness right the way down so it just makes it into a black image, okay? So with this, there's loads of things that you can do. You can um, duplicate the layer or copy the layer. So to do that, you just drag the layer down to that new plus button there and it will create a copy, which you can then move around. You might want to transform it. So edit, transform, perhaps flip, flip it so it looks the other direction. You can rotate it, edit, transform, rotate. You can change the color, so control U brings up the hue and saturation bar. Um, so if it's black already, then you just need to hit colorize and make it a bit lighter. And then you can change the color of it that way saturation might want to rub out certain sections so I'm going to rub out all of this bit down here I think it needs a background so I'm just going to click on the background layer take the paint bucket tool Uh, choose my color, maybe I'll go for yellow. And then I quite like for this guy to be a, a bit of a different color. So I'm gonna add another layer. So this little button creates a new layer and I can see it's below layer one, which is what I want. Um, and then this time I'm just gonna use a paintbrush tool, select another color, so maybe pale. Yeah, that'll do. I'm gonna make my paintbrush a little bit bigger, which you can do up here, or you can use the bracket tool as well, which is quite cool. And I can sort of color in the area underneath. So I can use my bracket tool to make it a little bit smaller. And I will just colour underneath here. Um, maybe I will add um, some text and typography. So I will bring up my box of writing here. So now I can select, I'm just going to select this one. Control C. Control V. You can see this layer has been copied to the bottom, so I'm gonna drag it up to the top. Again, I wanna delete uh, this background layer. I might actually go Control, uh, no, Image, Adjustment, Brightness and Contrast. Uh, it's not gonna work too well now. I'll use my selection tool. Select 
um, ooh, it gone similar? And so that's selected too much. The other thing you can do is go select color range. Yeah, and I've clicked on that background. So wherever it's white, it's selected it. So if I press OK, delete that. Oh, not that one. I'm on auto select. I don't want that. It'll be on the top. You can see it's a bit messy around there, so I'm just going to use the rubber tool just to clean that up a little bit. And I can press Control U, make it darker. That'll do. Um, the other thing that you can do again, uh, so I'm going to copy this layer, so I'm going to drag it down to that duplicate again. That's in the background. I quite like that. I'm going to copy it again. I'm going to change the color of that. Control U. You can play with the opacity as well, which is quite nice. That makes it more or less transparent. And it's starting to build up quite a cool image. It's sort of quite Basquiat style. So you basically just need to play around with those, those few tools, really.